you know what it takes to be number one. At State Farm, so do we. From my experiences, I would say a leader is someone who is there for their younger players on and off the court. Teach, be a great role model, set the example, and is just full of integrity. When I think about my role on the team, um, first thing that comes to mind is my leadership. Um, when I first got here, I was given, you know, a great deal of leaders and like our seniors, Ada, Brenna, and uh, Charnay. So now that they're gone, I see myself taking on their roles and kind of stepping into their shoes and being a leader like they were to me. When Charnay was here, she did a great job and she did so much for the team when it came to like, you know, being there and like being like the heart and the glue. And I feel like I kind of noticed, you know, that it was going to fall on me, you know, in the summertime, kind of when the first years first arrived and they're looking at me like, you know, you're the new, you know, Chardonnay. So I kind of felt, you know, that responsibility to make sure that I set the good example and, you know, make them feel acquainted and teach them the ropes. Milner on the right wing, looking right corner for right. Another three. Yes! 15-02 to play, 13-9 Virginia, timeout, Pat Summit. I take every game, you know, with the same mentality, but kind of different um, perspective. But um, I try not to put pressure on myself. You know, I, I'm out there for shifting my teammates. I work hard every day, you know, from our seniors and to make sure that they have a, a good senior season. And every game is different, you know. Every game, your shot's not going to be falling, you know. You're going to have to do something else. You're going to have to play defense. You're going to have to, you know, rebound the ball. So that game, you know, I was on, and, you know, everything was just falling. So, you know, that's a game that, you know, it's going to stick out, obviously. And it falls again for Monica Wright. She's so strong, though. That's the thing. She has such a strong upper body that even though a taller, um, bigger player sometimes doesn't hold on to the ball as well as she does, she jumps up right in front of him and just grabs it. She's got great ups. I think the key um, in the off season, you know, to making sure that you know you're elevating your game is to never settle and to, you know keep pushing. Um, you know, understand your body, understand you know your mind, and you know keep learning and keep expanding yourself. Off the court, I've become more available to my teammates um, at any hour of the day, night. More available to my coaches um, whenever they call. I'm always there, you know, whenever they need to find a player or if my players just need to talk about anything that's going on in their lives. I see myself bringing the team together, you know, for whatever reason, if it's dinner, movies, or, you know, whatever. Just being the person that kind of keeps everybody glued and keeps everybody pleased. You have so many other commitments when it comes to basketball, but over the past three years I went abroad and like got involved in other student activities and it's a lot to do out there and you know you can't do it all in your four years here but you know you'd like to you know get out of like the athletic zone out athletic box and you know venture out and you know just experience you know what other students experience it's just so many things that makes this place special and I feel like after your third year you're still not going to be able to understand everything about the university and you're not going to be able to experience it all but you want to get it all in. <laughs>